turns out that President Biden isn't going to be alone in the Democratic presidential race because Minnesota congressman and millionaire businessman Dean Phillips says he's throwing his hat in the ring. Here's why he says he's doing it. Take a look. I think President Biden has done a spectacular job for our country, but it's not about the past. This is an election about the future. I will not sit still, I will not be quiet in the face of numbers that are so clearly saying that we're going to be facing an emergency next November. Who is that? <laughs> Apparently he was elected in 2018. That's my problem. It's like, I think if you are going to take on a president who has done so much for this country so far and has restored in many ways the soul of this country, which was his promise, you got to have some kind of name recognition, I think. You need, I need to be excited. I need to, you need to be able to get the young voters out. You need to get the independents out. You need to get the black folks out. I, I looked at him like, okay. You that just was... met him, though, Sonny. Give him a minute. <laughs> I don't know. He just, it, it wasn't exciting. To me, he's, you know, to me, he's a, a, a very wealthy guy who, by all accounts, is very nice. People, his uh, colleagues in Congress say good things about him, like him. He's a wealthy guy in his 50s having a midlife crisis, and I guess instead of <laughs> buying a convertible Corvette or building a yacht, he decided to run for president. Hey, different... Strokes for different folks. At I, least he has but I, I think it takes a lot of a, a little bit of arrogance to, in November, you know, we're in November tomorrow. Think that you can all of a sudden do this. Look, the primary in uh, New Hampshire is less than three months away. The caucuses in Iowa are less than three months away. You don't just drop like manna from heaven and think, here I am, your savior warrior. I think it's well, reductive to call it, sorry, a midlife ahead. crisis, because when you read his, the articles about why he's doing it, he also mentions Republicans stand in line and pick party over people and power over people. Democrats don't do that. They're asking everyone, despite the numbers, <clears throat> to not speak up because they, they consider it an insult to the administration. He was saying, I don't want to stand by when I'm seeing these numbers. Is, is everyone going to ignore them because we could end up with Donald Trump? I commend him for saying, I'm going to look at all of it, and that's the best he can do. He can't well, create name recognition here's for what I, Well, right But now. what would be nice is if he said, listen, here are the things that we can do. I don't like people who start with this age. I'm really over this ageism. I'm really over it because it's an insult to people over 50. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not about, you know, it, it, it's not about, the, we're also in the future. We see the future too. We planned for your future. But I, That's I what we did. I don't think it's just the age, it's the historic unpopularity. He's on, he's on par with Jimmy Carter, who was a one-term yes, president. Yes, and yet, <laughs> and yet he's revered now. He's the, he's the GOAT. So he's the GOAT before he leaves. I, but if I may just press on this, because we had Rachel Maddow on the show, who I think we all respect regardless of our political stripes, and she said Donald Trump could absolutely be reelected. Yes. Again. We all agree that he's an existential threat to the republic, so I'm dying to understand how Democrats, despite polling that has bared this out... That because people believe, are like me and don't believe the but polls. But even without the polling, so be take the polling aside, uh -huh. you really think that the oldest man in history is... Uh, the oldest presidential candidate in history is the careful best person what to you, defeat Careful Donald what Trump. you say. Say because yes, there are a lot of people. You really there do. Are you don't think there's anyone who I can think, be perform I better? I think this country has a moral compass, and they look at a twice impeached, disgraced, four times indicted <laughs> criminal, and I think they say <laughs> that guy may be old, but that guy's a criminal. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that are. So I I actually do believe the polls, and I think there's not the privilege of another option. I don't think there's someone that we could find right now that we could throw up there that has any chance against a better I agree that the timing man. is too Listen, late. But there's a lot of things in life that are not binary choices, you can go to Starbucks and you can pick from 10 different types of milk. Mm. But this is going to be a binary choice. And you're going to have to pick between two old men. One who is a criminal yep. and one who's and one got who's a moral not. compass. Those are your choices.